Hi everyone, today's headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi constantly monitoring Manipur situation says Amit Shah at all party meeting. Former Nagaland parliamentarians take exception to NSC and IM statement on Article 371A. Nagaland government convenes consultative meeting on proposed autonomous council of Eastern District. Nagaland Baptist Church Council, Tribes Council says no uniform civil court. UPC successful candidates from Central Nagaland felicitated. News in details. Prime Minister Narendra Modi constantly monitoring Manipur situation says Amit Shah at all party meet. Sources privy to the deliberation said Shah told the meeting the situation in Manipur was slowly returning to normal and not a single person has died since June 13 in the violence in northeastern state. The Home Minister who had convened the meeting sought the cooperation of all the political parties to help diffuse the situation and restore peace and trust among various communities in Manipur at the earliest. Shah told the meeting the Modi government is committed to solve the Manipur problem by taking everyone together, the sources said. Shah said Modi has been constantly monitoring the situation in Manipur since day one and guiding us with full sensitivity to find a solution to the problem, the sources said. Former Nagaland parliamentarians take exception to NSC and IM statement on Article 371A. The ex-parliamentarian association of Nagaland has taken exception to NSC and IM statement that the framework agreement has nullified the 16-point agreement and Article 371A. The ex pan said in a press release that such statement will have far-reaching consequences and ramification. It stated that the FA is a merry framework with no final agreement being arrived at the event eight years after it was signed and that the competencies in the FA have to be first enacted into an act by both houses of parliament. Also, if Article 371A is to be superseded by any other act, it has to be through a specific amendment by two-third majority of the members voting in both houses. Only then, the question of whether such competencies under FA approved by both houses of parliament are superior or inferior in respect to constitutional status of Article 371A or 16-point agreement will hold water, it stated. Nagaland government convenes consultative meeting on proposed autonomous council of Eastern District. The Home Department Government of Nagaland has convened a consultative meeting to discuss the proposal of the Indian government for constitution of an autonomous council for the six eastern districts of the state. This comes in a backdrop of Eastern Nagaland People's Organization demanding for a separate frontier Nagaland. In a circular, Principal Secretary Home Abhijit Sinha informed that the meeting will be held on June 30 at 1.30 p.m. in the State Banquet Hall, Koima. Nagaland Baptist Church Council, Tribes Council says no uniform civil court. The Nagaland Baptist Church Council and Nagaland Tribes Council have objected to the proposed implementation of uniform civil court in the country. The NBCC contended that the move to implement the court by the central government was to manipulate the social, cultural and religious rights of the minority. It is nothing but to establish supremacy over the tribals and religious minority for their own benefit. Read the press release from NBCC General Secretary Rev. Dr. Zelhio Kehio. UPSC successful candidates from Central Nagaland felicitated. Civil services examination does not just test a person's ability to study and work hard, but also a mentality of a person such as perseverance and mental fortitude to keep on going, said Yimkyung I. Ozukum, who secured the All India ranking of 203 in the prestigious exam conducted by the Union Public Service Commission, the results of which were declared last month. He was speaking during the felicitation program of three UPSC successful candidates from Central Nagaland including Imkong Nukla Awo, All India Rank 7 to Nitri and W. Awo Tulo Ozukam, All India Rank 874 organized by the Central Nagaland Women and Students Association at DBI DL Dimapur on Saturday. A total of four candidates from Nagaland including Vevutulo Kezo All India Rank 387 from Peg District cleared the Civil Services Examination 2022 this year. That's all for now. To get the status, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.